I'm gonna show you guys how to make a fondant cake. Everyone hates fondant. But I swear after this, you're gonna love it. It's super important that you use a high quality brand. This is not sponsored, but I prefer satin ice. I get them in these huge 20 pound buckets. If it will come out, come on, there we go. Ugh. I like to get it in white and dye it myself, which is what we're gonna do today. And when you're working with fondant, you always, always, always want to have a clean station. Fondant picks up any dirt, any debris, hair, anything like that. So you want to make sure everything's always, always clean. So now that we have our fondant, we're going to put it all together in a ball. Roll up your sleeves, you know, it's, it's going to get messy. And you're just going to start kneading the fondant. Think of it as dough. You want it super soft and pliable. Now that it's softer, we're gonna start adding in our food coloring. And I always use cornstarch to prevent sticking. And you're just gonna add as much or as little food coloring as you wish. It just depends on how bold of a color you're looking for. I always recommend using gel food coloring. And you're just gonna knead the coloring in until you have one cohesive color that you're looking for. While you're kneading, you always sing. Um, what should I sing this time? No, God, please, no! Okay, so this is the color we're working with. It's a pretty like sky bluish color. I'm sure you guys how to cover a cake and fondant not only one way, but two ways. And then you guys could pick your preference. So the first way we're gonna do is the draping method. Now this isn't my preference. I prefer the second method, which is paneling. But I feel like it's important to know both for different situations. And you're gonna grab, you're gonna grab a rolling pin. Any rolling pin will work and you're just gonna roll it out. Just like you would pie crush. It's important that every so often you pick up the fondant. And you just wanna roll this out into a circular shape. And I like to roll my fondant very thin. This is my cake, it's all covered in buttercream and it's super cold. It has to be cold whenever you're working on fondant. And if you're unsure if you rolled it big enough, just put it right on. You need a ton of space all around. As you can see, it's big enough. What you do is take the fondant and roll it over the rolling pin. Put your cake in front of it. You wanna make this as easy as possible. Your fondant and very simply roll it over. You can see everywhere the fondant is covering the cake. You want to first tackle the top, and you want to get this top edge. If you don't get the top edge soon enough, it will tear on you, so it's important to get to that quick. All you're going to do is pull and stretch. Pull and smooth. Pull, smooth. You want to move quickly or else it will tear on you, you'll get elephant skin. The great thing about fondant, if you hate it, take it off and redo it. So you can see we have the whole cake covered in fondant and there's no seams anywhere. We're now gonna cut off the excess. It doesn't have to be completely cut off because we're still gonna work on smoothing out this fondant. Take a fondant smoother. It kind of looks like an iron. And you're just gonna smooth out the cake. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the sides. You could put a fair amount of pressure. This is just gonna help eliminate any imperfections. Maybe add like a finger mark. Beautiful. So say you had an air bubble. All you would do is take your blade and you're just gonna poke a hole in the fondant and you'll just smooth it out. And with the fondant smoother, you can get out the hole and now you have no air bubbles. Cut off the excess. The secret is using a super sharp blade. I'm using an X-Acto blade, just like that. Now you have a fondant cake. It was super easy to do and it looks flawless. Now, I'm gonna show you the second method. So let's take this off. Let's say we hated it. Ah! All we're gonna do is cut it off. It peels right off. The only reason I don't like this method is you could see the edges aren't as sharp as they could be. This time we're gonna do the paneling method. And the paneling method just means you're covering them in two separate pieces. So we're gonna cover the top first and then the sides. The only downfall is you get a seam in the back. Just rolling it out as typical. And you just wanna make sure it's big enough to cover the top only. Literally just the top. You're gonna just fold it over and smooth it. Take a super sharp blade. I'm using a razor blade this time. You can get a huge pack on Amazon and you're just gonna go flush across the whole cake. Go flush against the cake. We only want the fondant on the top edge. You see it's nice and flush. If you have to, you could go back in. The sharper your blade is, the cleaner this cake will come. Now we're gonna roll out for the side. Now we have to make sure what we're rolling is tall enough and long enough for the cake. So we have an eight inch cake and it's about six inches tall. So we need to make sure the fondant is about six inches tall. So I like to keep it as a rectangle this time. It's also super important that you make sure your cake is super smooth and straight. If your buttercream's wonky, it's not smooth, your fondant's not gonna look nice. If you're struggling with that, I have a video right here you can click that teaches you how to do a buttercream cake. Now what we're gonna do, you can see we have a huge rectangle. What you're gonna be doing is cut a straight line at the bottom. Like so. Take your rolling pin and roll up the fondant 
trying to keep that straight line intact. Just like that. We're gonna take our cake. Again, you wanna make sure it's super cold and you're just gonna cover it, slowly unravel the rolling pin while the other hand smooths. You can see I'm unraveling with one hand, smoothing with the other hand. Look how much excess we have. That's better. We're just gonna cut off some of the excess. And we're just gonna smooth it off real quick. We have all this excess. We don't want that. Take a super sharp blade and cut a straight line down. You wanna cut through both layers of fondant. What do I mean? First layer, peel this back. You have the second layer right here. We wanna take that off. And now we're just gonna seam it together. Now, to get rid of this seam, you kinda just gotta smooth it out. I feel like it's hard to get it completely gone. It's very faint, but smooth it as best as you can. And you're just gonna cut the excess flush to the top of the cake. The more flush you are, the better. I'm literally not even putting pressure on the knife. The blade is doing all the work because it's super sharp. Do you see the edge? And now we're just gonna cut off the excess at the bottom, very simply. And that's our fondant cake. Do you see how sharp the edge is? We ate. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. And how scary is fondant? That was so easy, it literally took us minutes. If you guys have any questions, be sure to let me know in the description box and be sure to hit that subscribe button. You already know why, because we got more videos coming. More videos, more tutorials, more things that are helpful. Stay tuned. Peace. Do I get to eat this cake now?